Thanks for joining me for this edition of the Church Security Answer Man. Today, I'm glad you're here because we're talking about when should we lock the doors at church? It's a great topic. I mean, in, in this, there's some little stuff involved in this. So let's get right into talking about this. When should we lock our doors? And, uh, you know, we have some traditions, many of our denominations, and we also have some hangups over this idea that we're supposed to be open and friendly and all of this kind of stuff. But how open should we? How how welcoming should the environment be when it comes to those doors? How much should they be open? Let's talk about that. And I and to get, get us started, I'm not talking about egress issues. I'm not talking about chaining the doors up. So I've got the little picture down here at the bottom with the no on it. I'm not talking about putting a lock and chain on the doors to where it's a fire hazard or a code violation, those kind of things. That's not what I'm talking about. Uh, we, you know, I'm talking about doors that have the break bar or push open kind of thing like we see the examples here. So uh, and we, we don't want tra people trapped inside. We want them to be able to leave. It's a matter of pe keeping people out if we're not able to monitor things. So minimizing the entrances, are, do we agree on that? We've talked about it multiple times in this podcast before and in this show and in our community. Are we in agreement that we should minimize how many entrances we have open? Can you get that down, depending on the size of your church, can you get that down to only one or two entrances that are actually open for people to come into in the morning? Are we telling people, no, you can't go in and out of those side doors anymore? We don't do that anymore. We've locked those. You can get out of them, but you can't get into those doors. So you got to come around the front or you got to come to the front or the very back, whatever it is. Are we in agreement on that? If you're not in agreement on that, let me know down in the comments or send me a note. I want to hear about that as to why we're not in agreement over that possibly. You know, and I, I want to remind us here where we're going to kick into another section here. But real quick, I want to remind you. We've got the unarmed and we've got the armed church security training. And those links are down below in the description. The unarmed and armed share a portion of training. So we're all on the same page. And then the armed folks go on to have a little bit more training relative to guns and that kind of stuff. And then we also have our newest class at the time of this recording. That's the survival tactics for church security. And it's the others are basic courses. This is considered an intermediate course with some great communication training and some survival tactics as well. Physical survival type stuff, parking lots and contact tactics, those kind of things. So check out that stuff. Link in the description or you can go to churchsecurityanswerman.com. When should we lock our church doors? You know, it, can we say that when we don't have someone to watch the door? Can we agree on that? If you've got it to where you have one door that's open, the church lobby, you've got somebody that's monitoring that. But what if we don't have somebody there for a temporary situation or for a long-term situation? Can we uh, agree on that? Or is that something that you already do? Uh, when all our people are inside for the church, I know some churches that just say at about the half hour mark, they open up at, let's say, 10 in the morning. And at 1030, they lock the doors and nobody else is getting in. And then, and then people are leaving at the end of service. Is that something that you would do or is that something maybe you already do? And, and I don't think it's a bad idea. If we don't have somebody there to watch the doors or we don't have people that are going to stay out in the lobby to watch things, you know, I am suggesting that we should lock the doors. So when do you want to do that? If you want to not have security in the lobby, are we going to let people uh, that show up late just not come in because we're going to lock our doors? Is that going to be a consistent thing? You know, and when we have to leave for a minute, some of us, I know our uh, church security team members sometimes have to help with offering. Maybe some of you pass out bulletins at a certain point. So if we don't have an extra person to stay in the lobby, can we lock the doors for a moment and maybe you put up a sign that says we'll be right back in five minutes or 10 minutes something to that effect so if somebody comes to the door or if you have to go to the bathroom you know we just talked a few weeks ago about the church incident in louisiana where somebody came into the church and began 
praying some very scary uh, slash interesting prayers. And we know from talking to the officer who's on the security team there, goes to church there, that the two that stand outside normally, uh, I think one of them was gone that day or went and did something, and the other one had to go to the bathroom. So if we have to do that, should we be locking the door so we don't have these people that are surveying our church or surveilling our church that can just easily uh, come into the church? So should we lock the doors when we leave for a minute for one of our side duties or if we have to use the restroom or maybe it's you're taking a lap around the church and you're the only security person on duty today. So while you're taking a lap around the church, you lock the front doors. How about when the service is over and most people have left? I do this at my church. We'll tend to have a dozen to 20 people that'll just hang out after church. They're regulars. Sometimes they're making plans to go to lunch or something like that as a group. And so how about the majority of people have left? Can I lock the doors now? And it's just like when you're ready to go, you just push the bar and go. But coming in from the outside, it's locked. Is that okay? And I think, you know, minimizing that time is good. How about in the mornings, if your church has like some people that show up early, like for worship practice, the band for singing, you know, after they show up, maybe they show up like two hours before church starts. Can I let them in and then lock the doors back or let them in one by one and then keep the doors locked? And then that way, between the time that they show up and they're practicing, the doors are locked and I don't have to worry about anybody coming in. I think that's a great time. It's about minimizing these times where we have or could possibly have somebody show up that's up to no good, that's thinking about that. And we know it like Buddy's Church in Ohio. We've talked about that, you know, where his issue was during worship practice. The person didn't come into the church that I know of. It was just out in the playground. But the reality is this was in the early morning during worship practice that this guy showed up and was... Uh, making some bad statements, that kind of stuff. So would it be okay to eliminate another time there that we can lock the doors and we don't have easy access for people to come in? And when should we lock our church doors? I mean, honestly, should we be locking the doors as much as possible? And I'm completely in favor of that. If we can lock the doors, minimize the time that people are going to show up and be able to just walk in, I like that. I like that kind of thing. So I think it's a good thing. But you have to decide because I know we're traditionally an open uh, facility. Churches are supposed to be opening and welcoming. But can we narrow it down a little bit when those doors are actually open? And here's a big statement I want to make, depending on your denomination. Are you still holding true to tradition, maybe depending on your uh, your denomination, to where the doors are open for giving to be able to get to the offering box or to be able to come in and pray all during the week. So pretty much daytime hours. I hope the 24 hours a day for sure is gone, but the daytime hours for you to just be able to come in and worship or pray, give your tithe, whatever that looks like. Are you still doing that? And, you know, and should we be doing that? Should we be leaving our doors open that much? And, you know, and we've got a few stories that I know of over the years where a lady comes into church during the week. She's by herself. She's going in to pray or drop off her offering and somebody else shows up and attacks her. You know, is that really wise on our church's part? So I'm hoping you'll leave me a comment down below. I certainly want to talk about this. When should we be locking our church? How much should we lock it down? And I think some of it's dependent on how many security people you have and when you're doing that. But how about minimizing opportunities for people to get in, which also minimizes the liabilities for our church. And there isn't any reason why the doors can't be open. Somebody's monitoring when people are showing up in the mornings. And then we begin to shut things down, lock it down so that uh, we don't have people that are maybe up to no good that are trying to sneak in and show up. And I've seen plenty of those people in my time where they're uh, not at the right time. They're not showing up to church at the right time. They haven't tried to look at the church, uh, study what's going on with the church, even look at the signage that says what time we start. 
but they're just showing up and acting kind of weird and and kind of surveilling the church, if you will, and walking around a little bit, and then they leave. That makes me very uncomfortable. Those are minimal times, but those are some of the people that concern me the most. So most of the time, we have our major groups, major times where they show up, you know, 10 minutes before service starts till five minutes after service starts, and then you have a few stragglers, maybe 10, 15 minutes after the service starts, and then most people should be in by then. So is it okay for us to lock those doors at that time? I hope you'll like and subscribe to our page here, and I hope you'll leave us a comment. I want to hear from you. I like your questions. I'll try to respond to as many of those as we can. And uh, take a look at this video that's appearing on your screen now because I think it's another good video that you should take a look at. And join me over there to talk more about church security.